Hello, this is Jay Goldstein of the Local and State History Department of the Cumberland County Public Library, and I'm really happy to bring you our new monthly series, Fayetteville's African American Heroes. The series is presented by Charles Anderson and Kelly Cardenas Walsh, both of Fayetteville State University. Dr. Kelly Walsh back with you out here at beautiful and historic Brookside Cemetery in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk to you about Louis Leary. Louis Leary was an abolitionist and a freedom fighter. He was born in 1835 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He was the second son and the fourth of seven children to Matthew Nathaniel Leary and his wife Julia. Like his brothers, uh, Matthew Jr. and John Sinclair, Lewis was trained in the harness and saddle trade that his father participated in. But unlike his brothers, Lewis became an ardent abolitionist. In fact, it was his abolitionist activities that led him away from Fayetteville. In 1857, he was caught participating in some abolitionist activity and his father encouraged him to leave Fayetteville and go up north where his sisters Henrietta and Sarah had already relocated to Oberlin, Ohio. Once in Oberlin, he had reacquainted with a childhood friend from Fayetteville who had migrated there earlier named Mary Patterson. He and Mary Patterson married a year later and had a child, Lois. It was in 1858 that Lewis Leary and his nephew, John Copeland participated with about 30 others from Oberlin, Ohio in the Wellington Rescue. The rescue of a runaway slave, John Price, and they helped him to escape eventually into Canada and to freedom. It was in the next year, the spring of 1859, that Lewis Leary went to Cleveland and heard a lecture by the abolitionist John Brown. Inspired by John Brown's speech, Lewis Leary knew that his abolitionist work was not over, and soon he was willing to join John Brown, along with his nephew, John Copeland, on the raid at Harper's Ferry, Virginia. At Harper's Ferry, which was initially a success in the first few hours of the early morning of October 16th, John Copeland and Lewis Leary were tasked with uh, holding the rifle works along the Shenandoah River. But it didn't take long for Union troops and angry townspeople to surround the building. Leary and Copeland made a run out of the building and into the Shenandoah River, where Leary was mortally wounded. The Leary family of Fayetteville and Mary Leary of Oberlin did not find out about the death of their loved one, Lewis, until they read it in the papers reporting the raid of Harper's Ferry. John Leary would later go on to attend law school and become the first African American to practice law in Fayetteville and in Charlotte, and the second to pass the bar exam to practice law in the state of North Carolina. Matthew Leary Jr. would go on to become the, one of the founders of Fayetteville State University, then known as the Howard School. All of the Leary men, Matthew Sr., Matthew Jr., and John Sinclair, all participated in local, state, and federal governments during the Reconstruction period. Lewis Leary, one of Fayetteville's hometown heroes. The presenters for this series are Dr. Kelly Cardenas Walsh and Charles Anderson Jr. of Fayetteville State University. Thank you for watching.